Hi everybody, in today's video I'll be teaching you how, or showing you showing you how to duplicate items in Terraria on console. Uh, fair warning though, uh, some people have told me that, especially on the PlayStation 1, that you can lose your game or risk losing your game if you duplicate. Now for the record, on the Xbox version that we've played, we've, that's never happened to us ever. We've never lost our game, no glitches have ever happened from it or anything like that. But uh, just as a disclaimer, I'd say this is at your own risk. Now what you do need is you need at least two controllers. And what you do is you have one person come in the game. So ideally you want to have a couple chests near your spawn point. You can set your spawn point by having a bed and then a house and everything and, and doing that. But even if you can have it you can have chests near any spawn point really, even if it's the one you started the game with. Now what you want to do is uh, whoever whatever item you want, like let's say we wanted a bunch of rainbow bricks, right? Let's say that's what we wanted. We throw it to our partner. Our partner gets it right then the second person and then so what you want to do is you want to put this down here uh, it has to be a down somewhere in these three rows down here because we're gonna be put in the chest so what you do is you, once you have that item uh, the second person hits save and what you can do is you can uh, you go into your chest and you press the second button that will push anything in the first three rows down in there and then you can hit exit, but you exit without saving. Exit without saving. Then you press start. You log, go back in, and you spawn right back at that same point. But you still have the rainbow brick in there, but your item in there, but it's also in the chest. So you do that again, and now you have two. You can then in this way, and then you press up arrow like that. In this way, you can have more than one item that you can duplicate. And you can now you now what you do is once you have the additional item is you hit save again just like that so the game saves the data then you hit exit again oh wait not not yet what you do is you, then you put the items back in the chest with the down one then you hit exit and then exit without saving And now we've got two in here and two in here. So you press down again, uh, or up, and then you get, you've got four of those things now. You got four rainbow bricks now. So you hit save again. And as you can see, you're probably starting to pick up the pattern by now if you have it already. Um, then you hit, then you uh, put it back down. Now you're putting four in there, and you hit exit. And you go back again. and then you just do that and then now you're duplicating eight and this is a way to really massively you know if you need a lot of a bunch of something now for items and weapons I wouldn't recommend that too much you can just hand it to your partner and do it that way but if you're gonna multi like produce multiples of at least if you need a large quantity of anything this is the really ideal way to do it then you press down again you get all these rainbow blocks just like that and this can work with any item pretty much uh, I, I haven't come across any item that I haven't been able to duplicate yet so it's like, it's like I said now we've got look at all that now in a normal game some items are very rare and hard to find like the terror blade is hard to kinda of create and you can m make multiple terror blades if you wanted to just like that you could use the same trick in fact I'll I'll show you real quick as well. You just you can just put the tear blade right down here. You hit save. And once the game is saved, you just put that down there. You hit exit, exit without saving. And you got two tear blades now. And it can even be like once you get the right prefix that you want, you can duplicate that along with the, the prefix as well. And if this is a, just a really good useful trick because there are very rare items that will take up a lot of time. And if you have a lot of time and you prefer to do it that way, that's completely okay. But if it's something like uh, that that kind of pulls you back and you don't want to have as much fun, and you'd rather have it, get that out of the way so you could have more fun, 
then this is this is definitely the trick for you. It's like I said, I've never had any issues, but there have. Ha Ooh, I feel an evil presence watching me. Whatever shall it be? No. Well, um, on that note, um, if you guys like this uh, video, please hit like. If you're watching this on Twitch, we do have a Let's Play channel. It's called OVA Let's Plays. It's on YouTube. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if I had, if I had to guess the evil presence thing, I think that's either I have Cthulhu. It's some type of monster, big boss monster of some sort. I just don't know which one. Um, which is probably going to happen once it fully reaches nighttime. At any rate, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye, everybody.